When we think about prisons and jails, it is really this gap between government power being at the highest that it could ever be and individual rights being at the lowest. And within that gap, that is where abuse occurs. And that is why it is critically important to shine a light in those spaces. I am Andrea Armstrong, and I am an incarceration law scholar. When people think about prisons and jails, they tend to think about the sentence that a judge has given them. What they don't think about is all of the other punishments that are part of that sentence. You're deprived of access to natural sunlight, to health care, to visitation and family contact. Years ago, we were looking at deaths that occurred in East Baton Rouge Parish Prison and there were parents asking, is my son the only one to die this way? And it became clear to me that it wasn't just a problem at East Baton Rouge Parish Prison, that in fact it was a problem for every single prison and jail in Louisiana, that there was no one looking. No one was keeping track of who was dying behind bars, from what types of causes. If we wanna prevent deaths, we need to know why people are dying and where they're dying. The Incarceration Transparency Project is a website that includes a database and memorials that is dedicated to shining a light behind bars. It is critical that data on deaths behind bars are made public. These are our jails and prisons. They are operated in our name and they are therefore our responsibility. People are so much more than their worst moment. They are caretakers, they are artists, they are musicians, they are brothers and siblings and uncles and aunts. And all of that goes missing when somebody dies behind bars. We try and document what we lost and how important that is for remembrance. There is joy in moving closer to the ideals that we think are important.